Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to use Krampus slash Rogzek, uh, how to create an account uh, after that you've bought a license. I'm also going to show you how to buy a license um, and how to fix the block strap issue. Uh, and yeah, that's probably it. So open your browser, go into loader.live. Uh, if, if you haven't bought a key yet, then open a new tab. Go into codexseller.myselix.io. The link will be in the description if you want it. Um, this is a seller that is verified. There's more verified sellers on Krampus's Discord, which uh, where you could find a cheaper license if you don't want to uh, waste uh, zero point four dollars more. So just join the Discord. The link will be in the description if you want to try to find a cheaper seller. But you can use Codex Seller if you want to. Or you could just use the original website, which is krampus.gg. Uh, .gg, and then you can just click purchase, and this is their website. So yeah, but you can also buy it from them. So um, when you've bought a key, and you should get it on your Gmail. It could take a second. Then uh, just go into this website, uh, click register, and just make your account with a username, email, password, and the license key. Um, uh, if you've created an account already, uh, and you, your, like, old license has, uh, expired and you've bought a new one, then you can click the, uh, the key on the left side, click row exec, paste in the license here, uh, put in the provider, uh, and then click claim, and then you've got your new license, so, um, when you've created an account, neither it, if, either if it's a new one or if you uh, claimed your key again, you can go here, find row exec, click Furky Seller or whoever you bought it from. Like if you bought it from Krampus, then do Krampus. I bought it from Furky. So click the download, uh, click save, go to your desktop, create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Krampus. Uh, if you're on Windows 11, click plus. Win downloads and drag this over to your Krampus folder. If you're on Windows 10, you can just click. Uh, I'm just gonna control Z. Yeah, you, you, you can click the folder down here. So like right click it. Uh, when you've right clicked it, click File Explorer. Go into your downloads and just drag it over to your Krampus folder. Now you need to download something called Blockstrap. Uh, um, and that is for the live issue. If you you can try just launching Roblox, opening this, and if it if it doesn't pop up, something like uh, change your channel to live, then you're good to go. But if not, then open your browser, uh, go into the link in the description uh, to get Blockstrap. Um, on the right side here, click on the releases, click this, the latest one. Click uh, the .exe, click save. Now when you have this, make this smaller and drag this to your desktop. You can close this for now. Uh, open this as an administrator, click yes. Uh, when this opens, um, click behavior, click install, and then just wait a second because this is like information. Click install again and just wait until it's done. If you get this, don't worry about it, just click close uh, and just reopen this. And as you can see, it works for me. Now, uh, click Alt F4 or just close this. Uh, click Windows R and then do uh, percent local app data percent. Uh, in here, find blocks trap. Go into the settings.json. And in the description, there's going to be a paste bin. Uh, and inside of that paste bin, you're going to have like uh, a couple of lines of some shit. And just paste this in here. Because uh, I don't know why, but it's just supposed to be there. You can also find it on uh, Krampus's Discord if you don't trust me. Um, just scroll a little bit up on, in the announcements and you, you're probably going to find it. When you have this, co click Control S. Some people may have opened it in uh, Notepad if you don't have Visual Studio, but it's the same thing. Just click, click, click Control A, delete everything, paste it in, 
click Control S and just close it out. Now when you've done that, uh, you can close this. Make sure this is still open. Go to your browser. Go into Roblox.com. Choose whatever game. I'm going to go into Blade Ball because I have a script made for that. Uh, it's not mine, but it's a paid script. If you want it, then you can also find it in the description. You can either buy it for Roblox or uh, something else. Uh, click join. Uh, when you get this, I'll always click no. Make sure to click no, not yes. So click no. Just wait until it launches. <coughs> and if you buy the script that uh, is in the description uh, on the Discord, uh, you can go into buyer panel and just click get script and then you're going to get your script. So just copy it. And then just wait until there you go. When you've loaded in, just open your folder with the row exec thing. This, uh, it's going to have a la random letters and whatever. Just open it and just wait a second. I may die. I think I just died. No, I didn't. There you go. You can click control and click on this link. If it won't work for you and it won't open this, you can just go into loader.live. Wait until it loads in, until it's going to say dashboard and do slash pro exec. And it's gonna work too. Just a quick, uh, so that you guys know, um, the the people that made Roexec slash Krampus said that um, the website is being like remade. So this this may be completely different when you watch this. Uh, I'm gonna make a new uh, video about how to do everything uh, when the like new version of the website launches. So don't worry about that. But yeah, when you have uh, this, it should say connected. Um, then. Paste in your script and then click execute and as you can see just like that it opens uh, this is WeHub like like I said the paid one uh, I don't know if I'm okay I'm gonna okay I did not do it manually uh, just leave this that's how it is I'm gonna enable also Perry <coughs> and I'm gonna be back when uh, uh, when I'm in the game not uh, dead all right, we are alive, and as you can see, it does not work. The fuck just happened? Okay, well, I have no idea what's wrong. Uh, it's probably just WeHub being broken. Uh, I can show you guys that it does work, though. Uh, like, you can do, uh, let's say, print, hello, world. And as you can see, the execution does work. I don't know what's wrong with the script. Um... I'm guessing that the game uh, got updated and maybe they changed something and that's why it's not working or I'm just really dumb. Uh, I can try one more time but as you can see the print does work. Uh, let's see if it does work now. Nope. Okay. Uh, I have no idea why. Maybe it's a tutorial or something. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I have no idea why it doesn't work. But yeah. As you can see it does. <coughs> you can uh, make functions too. So if you make a function, uh, let's call it print, because why not? You uh, make it argwan, and uh, you make a print, and then make it print argwan. And you can just do <coughs> print, and then let's say hello. Right, and then you can just execute it a couple of times, and uh, and then this happens. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, it does work. Um, it's probably because of this. We just change this to a big P and this to a big P. Go all the way down. As you can see, it does work now. It does say hello. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it does work. The script execution work. Uh, we hope it doesn't work though. Uh, as I said, I think it is because of um, the game being updated or something. Because as you can see, it doesn't want to work. Or maybe I broke something when I joined and I clicked this to 80 uh, by accident. But I'm not sure. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. I'm going to make uh, a video soon about how to fix um, the VPN issue because some people can't even uh, uh, go into the website or they have trouble with uh, downloading it and then when they launch it in Roblox, uh, they get like a VPN 1.1.1.1 issue or something like that. I'm going to show how to fix that too. It's basically just using a VPN, but I'm going to make a video about, uh, about it. Um, I'm also planning on making videos about how to script for like new players uh, as of how to make a, a 
the script hub, for example. Uh, it's quite easy, but yeah, just for new players to uh, learn a little bit. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next video.